Elimination Chamber is going on, and welcome on into another smart that smart yeah smart chat edition here on YouTube.com. And it, I, maybe this is a late video. You're expecting a lot from Daniel Bryan. I don't think it's going to happen tonight, but that's okay. And sometimes I feel that we maybe get a little bit carried away and we have to realize, enjoy every product. It's wrestling. It's scripted. Enjoy it. Take it for what it is. If you don't like it, you can watch something else. And the reason why I parlay this, I wrote kind of a little thing here on my notepad, so bear with me. I parlay it to a time when I started watching wrestling many many years ago this is going back to um, it was 91 Royal Rumble I really enjoyed the event but where was Macho King Randy Savage I know he appeared on the show by interfering in the Ultimate Warrior versus Sergeant Slaughter title match but where was his Royal Rumble appearance? He was not, he was most definitely, I think, advertised for the match. They even showed him an interview with him clearly stating that he was going to win it, but he never even appeared. Obviously, I know the storyline reason he did not appear. And it was because he was chased out of the building by the warrior. But still, we expected him to appear. But, did we cry about it? Did we call the pay-per-view company to ask for our money back? Did we complain that the WWF did not know what they were doing? No, we didn't. Do you know why? Because back then, in a time that's far, far gone away, there were days without thousands of Facebook pages telling us what's going to happen. Days where 14 year olds didn't know more than Vince McMahon. Days where 30 year olds who lived with their moms didn't think they could write a better TV show than Bill Watts. We knew what it was. It was professional wrestling, not sports entertainment. And we were wrestling fans. We took it for what it was. Too much, too many a times, I think, we as wrestling fans overanalyze things. It's a scripted show. It's men in tights, for goodness sake. So enjoy it. Take it for what it is. Kick back, relax, watch it. But don't take it so seriously. One wrestler jobbing. And jobbing and jobbing, yes, might suck for you. But the man's making a ton of money. Listen, I know it's... Sometimes it's not as just as simple as that for these wrestlers. But let's take things a little bit less serious and enjoy the products for what it is. If you don't like a particular product, why watch it? So... Until next time, adios over and out. WWE Network coming tomorrow. Big stuff.